Good morning, y'all. Okay, we're back at it. Erin um, and I are getting ready to start tinkering again with the Bugatti. So Aaron is over here and he's got his template and he is mapping out the area of metal that he wants to cut for that piece of floor. I'm going to get inside here and start cleaning up the metal where we plan to weld the floor in. So one side we're going to be welding, the other side we're going to be bolting, but um, it's gonna be quite a job to clean this rusty metal because it's pretty thick with rust and it needs to be shiny for us to be able to weld to it. So off I go onto that adventure. <laughs> You want to paint then so you can kind of see where it's going to land so you can clean that more thoroughly? Sure. There you go. Cool, babe. It's certainly not going to be perfect. It's just to no. have it together. Thousand dollar car. How much fun can you have for a thousand bucks? That's what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think I've got it close to being ready to weld. Um, I want to cut off that end piece that sticks up higher than the rest of the floorboard's gonna be, because I think that's gonna cause a problem when we're trying to get that um, floor pan in. So I'm going to go get the Sawzall and hack that off, and then I think it's time to start trying to weld. My favorite part. Okay, I'm down in the tea tiny little cubby and it is time for me to see if I can lay some welds here. Um, we're going to start with some tacks and then I'm going to move to like a little bit of stitch welding to get that piece of the floor pan in and we'll see if it looks good and if we can go further and we've got that one corner that needs a patch but we're starting. This is my favorite part, the welding, so I'm excited. Will you fire up the machine for me, babe? Yes. Got it. Thank you. And another thing is I want you to check my ground and see if you think it's adequate. No. Should it be right there? But we need to grind an area, right? Because that's kind of rusty. What about yeah. right there? Yeah, if you'll move it ahead of that. Yep. Will you send it underneath the car? Thank you. Perfect. We got a bunch of wire. I gotta fill that hole up. <laughs> All right, so that could have gone a lot better. Check this out. Because this floor is so thin. It just blew through whenever I would try to do a stitch weld. Yeah, my, my welds are really ugly, but you get the point. Like, what the heck? Are we going to have to reinforce this so that we actually have good metal to weld to? Or do I need to turn my heat down? Got to figure that out. That tack worked okay, but anytime I tried to do a stitch, it just blew a hole in it. What's your thought? Well, I, I don't know until I hold the gun. <laughs> you 
you don't have the gas on. Okay, learned a couple of things. One, my gas wasn't on, so that was definitely creating a messed up weld. And two, I cannot do a stitch weld where, where I create a bead and go down, even if it's like for, you know, three beads or four beads. I'm gonna have to tack it and then let it cool, tack it, let it cool, and do it like that because that metal is so thin that I'm welding to, so. Um, Aaron was messing around kind of with the metal and he filled one of the holes for me. So now with that knowledge, I'm going to restart and do the tacks all the way around as much as I can. And the metal doesn't butt up at all of the points that I need it to. So I think we're going to have to do some building of metal there, but, um, you know what, it's gonna be covered by carpet. This is not a nice car, so I'm gonna not stress about doing really pretty welds. All right, let's get back to work. pretty but I think it'll work now to figure out what to do in this corner it's missing metal now it is not pretty but I did fill that corner that was Swiss cheese up with welds I just took my time and I tacked and I brought it all around and brought it together and it's an ugly big mound of weld that I could or could not grind and clean and make it look nice. I don't know. I'll have Aaron look at it and see what he says, but it's in there. It's solid, but it looks real fugly. <laughs> I just really love when I get to weld and make pretty welds. Oh well, maybe next time. Okay, I got my pilot holes drilled in the new floor pan and am now going to crawl underneath the car and drill out some sizable holes for bolts to bolt that edge of the floor pan to the body. Cool. <laughs> He just cut this metal out for me and it looks really good. So now I have more work to do to prep this area for actually welding that in. I think the first step that I'm going to take is removing this fuel tank so that I can clear out all this old metal and access the nose of the car. things about this car. It has valve covers that are full of cement that are bolted to the floor of the car. It's really funny. I guess the people that built it felt like it needed extra weight in the front, so that's how they fixed it. making the template for the passenger side. So um, once I get this done, then he can come and cut it. Teamwork. Look what we got. That's gonna really help because ours is <laughs> rotted away. Yeah, I was looking at trying to rebuild it myself and I found this one for sale. 
this is what we mount our pedals to. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It was like 20 bucks. We've been ordering parts from J Bugs. That's where we got these wheels. We just have to order tires now. That's it. That old metal, even though we got it cleaned up pretty good, it is pretty rusty. So what we're gonna do is start our bead over on the fresh metal and kind of drag it down until it melts in. And it's gonna be a long process, but you're gonna have to do little tiny stitches at a time, I think, um, but it'll hold, it, it's gonna work out. Well, we forced ourselves to hit a milestone with this car and we have both of the floor pans pretty well in. We're so excited. So the weather's lovely. We are going to get the Bronco out for lunch. Set them in place. Start mocking it up. That's where it goes. I think it looks awesome there. Now what do I square the bracket to? <laughs> That's a good question. I think I'm gonna put the brake booster in just so that we uh, got our, all our pedals in the same position. Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like they could be a little further forward for long legs, but mm -hmm. it's not bad. <laughs> we'll tack weld it there. See how we like it. We just did a little bit on each corner because once we drive the car, if we don't like the pedal position, I don't want to do a bunch of grinding to get them off. So leave it there. We need to hook the throttle up and then on the entire brake system and we can bleed the brakes. Can't wait. Oh my gosh. It'll be so cool. Pretty good. Yeah. Yay, the pedals are in and mocked up. So on the next episode, you will see us get these actually functional um, and I think go drive it. We've got new wheels in. We've got to order new tires for it and have those mounted so that we're safe out on the road. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think on the next episode, you'll see us actually get to put this thing in motion. We'll see y'all next time. See ya.